Dixon, a town of about 16,000 people in northern Illinois. Quintessential Americana. Farms nearly everywhere. Dirt roads that go on for miles. A Rockwell Main Street. A local watering hole. Old-time barber shops. The boyhood home of President Ronald Reagan. And now, famous for the town bookkeeper, Rita Crundwell, who is accused of stealing $53 million of taxpayer money over a period of 22 years. You know, in that length of time, we had five city councils, three different finance and accounts commissioners, three different mayors, and 22 audits over that period of time. So, wait a minute. Not one person noticed that $53 million was missing from the city budget? Nearly 22 years of missing money, and not one person noticed. You know, this all adds up to $200,000 per month over the course of all of those years. You see, Rita Crunwell had almost complete control over the city finances, according to the FBI. She also picked up the city's mail so that no one could learn about her secret bank accounts. But last year, the city clerk accidentally intercepted a bank statement that came in the mail. Then she brought it to me and she said, this is, does not, this is not a city uh, account, even though it said City of Dixon RSCDA. And I said, well, can you tie it into anything? And she, she tried. She said, I can't, I can't tie it into anything. So I said, well, I'm, I'm going to contact the FBI. This is former Comptroller Rita Crudwell's office in City Hall. She hasn't been here since being arrested on April 17th. The mayor says she was friendly. The FBI contends she is a criminal that used the millions to pay for a lavish lifestyle that included multiple homes around the country. This sprawling farm outside Dixon is home to over 300 horses, and one of the horses is actually named Have Faith in Money. In the barber shops and bars of Dixon, folks are questioning the whole deal. I don't think one person could do it all. Somebody's got to know. How do you hide something like that for that long? I think there's a lot more people involved than what's been brought forward so far. Mayor Burke and the entire city council are being investigated, and he contends that he never knew or suspected anything. I don't think that there's anybody, any other city employees involved in this thing, but if there is, we are certainly going to uncover it. This small town swindle has the markings of a potential big time sentence. If convicted of fraud, Rita Crudwell could serve up to 20 years in prison. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Dixon, Illinois.